As we've reported earlier, we sent a team to Seattle recently to cover the American Farm Bureau Federation's 91st annual convention. While there, they came across a story that was a little fishy in this report. The Monitor's Ryan Nakan tells us how a fish market became world famous by simply declaring it themselves. Right off the shore of Elliott Bay in Seattle, flocks of people gather in Pike Place Market to get a glimpse of something truly unique. And it's not the first Starbucks either. In the heart of the market sits a fish stand that has become world famous by thinking outside the norm. However, it didn't start out that way. Bought by current owner John Yokoyama in 1965 to help pay his Buick Riviera car note, the Pike Place fish market looked like every other fish stand in the world. Fish covered in ice, waiting to be sold to the public. But in 1986, on the verge of bankruptcy, Pike Place decided that if they wanted to stay in business, they had to change their image. And that's when they became determined to become a place that was known throughout the world. The first step they believed in becoming famous was believing it themselves. So they added the words world famous to their logo, and that belief started to catch on. The next step for the fish market was to brand themselves as a place unlike any other. They wanted to give customers an experience while shopping at the fish market. So they started throwing fish and interacting with the crowd, getting recognition from everyone whether they were shopping at the fish market or not. The men that work here are called fishmongers and you can hear their chants all along the corridors of the market. The energy they work with is infectious, and they never let a customer go away feeling empty-handed or unsatisfied. Eat up. The market's upbeat crew and unique style has even inspired books to help other businesses find their own niche, motivate employees, and improve their business. Now this simple fish market that was about to be bankrupt has over 10,000 visitors daily. Not bad. And success like this shows you that the only business you really have to believe in is your own. For the world-famous Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockham.